Welcome to Tech Talks, the podcast where we delve into the latest trends and innovations in the world of technology and automation. In today's episode, we have two distinguished guests with us. Firstly, we have Fernando Vaquerizo, that is European Fix and Cobots Product Marketing Manager in Omron. And also, we are glad to have here Joan Vidal, that is European Application Engineer in the Machine Control Department here in Omron too. Together, we will be exploring the fascinating realm of palletizing and discussing about Omron's cutting edge solution in this field. Stay tuned for an insightful conversation that promises to shed light on the future of automation and robotics. Okay, so without further ado, welcome Fernando, welcome Joan. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Andrea, for inviting us. Thank you, Andrea. It's nice to be here. So, you're welcome. Let's start from the basics. Uh, why is palletizing considered crucial in the context of supply chain? And also, what is its role in the industry? Well, palletizing is considered crucial in the context of the supply chain for several reasons. The first one, I think, because it's uh, efficient handling and transportation, because when you put the goods in a pallet, then the goods are very easy to, to handle and to transport from one place to another. And this helps also to reduce the need for manual labor and speed up the unloading and loading and unloading processes. Also, the palletizing optimizes the use of storage space in, in warehouses, that, that's clear. Mm-hmm. And the pallets provides a protective barrier between the product and the and the ground floor, no? And this reduces the risk of uh, damage and, of course, improve the, the quality of the of the product. Also, it's important to highlight that pallets uh, are uh, have a standard dimensions. We have uh, typically the American or, or the European pallet, and this uh, also simplifies the loading and unloading process, as well as the design of storage system and transportation equipment. Another uh, Factor important is the the safety. Uh, properly palletizing goods improves the safety in the workplace, no? Because the pallet uh, the pallets provide a stable base for stacking, reducing the risk of accidents caused by by collapsing. No? So this is especially important in in warehouses and during the the transportation. Also, another topic is the sustainability because pallets are often reusable, so you you can uh, recycle the, the 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 pallets, and this aligns with the sustainability politics or goals uh, for many many companies. In summary, palletizing plays a very important role in the supply chain, improving efficiency, reducing cost, improving safety and also ensuring the proper handling and protection of, of goods. And all these comments that I'm doing are valid for any industry where pallets are used, that I think is all the industries. Okay. And also what I see is that with the with the adoption of collaborative automation, so everything related to collaborative robots, mobile robots, palletizing will become safer, easier of use and much more flexible. So I think robots will bring a, a significant value to the palletizing process. Okay, so you talk about robots. How do collaborative robots from Omron bring value to the palletizing process? Well, uh, industrial or collaborative robots, we see this question very often. And the answer will be clearly defined by your application. Industrial robots, of course, are very suitable for big, for, for heavy, big payloads that need a, a very fast pace of movement. Basically, they are the kings of volume. However, these applications will also require big installations, big cells, and safety fences. This is where the cobots come into play. Smaller, more flexible robots that are designed to work alongside humans. Safety fences are then replaced by safety sensors, and the cobot will adapt when a human operator is nearby. So, uh, for smaller, more flexible applications with uh, less payload, this is where uh, the collaborative robots are really important. Of all of the advantages of the Omron TM cobots, I would clearly highlight their flexibility and the added functionality of their integrated camera. In our palletizer solution, for example, 
that camera allows the Kobo to quickly find out the application layout. This unlocks a great potential. Suddenly, you can move the robot to a new location in your factory and have it calibrate itself. Or even have a mobile robot bring new pallets, and the Kobot will take a picture and find out really quickly the exact new position for the next palletizing sequence. Yeah, uh, thank you, Johan. I, I fully agree with you. Uh, in the end, uh, palletizing with Kobots, you know, in the end, palletizing, it's all about uh, safety, about uh, space efficiency, about the easy of programming, thanks to the Kobots, and the cost savings. So that's clear that by automating palletizing tasks uh, with Kobots, the companies can reduce the need for manual labor. And this uh, can be particularly important in industries facing labor shortages or in roles that involves repetitive and dual uh, physical parts, so manual, manual material handling, let's say. Collaborative robots are typically very compact also and can be easily integrated even into existing uh, production lines without the need for extensive reconfiguration. So this makes them suitable for palletizing tasks in warehouses or production facilities where the, sp the space is limited. And also the cost, no? the return of investment for cobots in palletizing applications uh, can be very, very attractive. No? Of course, there is an initial investment, uh, but in the end, companies have to check the cost saving over time due to reduced labor cost, increased productivity and improve uh, product quality. And also if there is a customer with that uh, they want to avoid this initial investment, we can provide from on-run other alternatives as leasing services, for instance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we now know about Omron Cobots, but Joanne, when you talk about the integrated camera, you mentioned a little about Omron's proposal for palletizing application. What makes this proposal different from the other solutions? Well, for palletizing applications, Omron is clearly betting on flexibility and ease of use. We are seeing an increase in requests for flexibility in any manufacturing environment. In response to that, our solution allows the user to quickly modify the application layout by directly moving the robot to the new pick and place position. This not only allows the user to react quickly to a product format changeover, but also enables a full change in the application. For example, it becomes possible to move the robot to a new station and have it calibrated in a moment, as we said, with the use of the integrated camera. But we're not just talking about the process aspects. Even the core of the application is based on flexibility. By basing the solution in a PLC library, we're enabling the user to do much more. Production traceability, communication with external systems, we are really integrating the cobot in the production process as part of the production line. Okay, by basing the solution in a PLC library, why Ombron is including a PLC? The PLC in this case is the brain of our solution. Including a PLC in the mix, the cobot is totally integrated in the production line as it, as it is with any other machine. And with that, it acquires a new set of possibilities. Now, it can be connected more easily to other machines or devices in our factory, and it can keep traceability of its production, or for example, manage sensor data to influence its palletizing process. There is a world of possibilities from here. Running in this PLC, our palletizer library is responsible for generating the pick and place paths based on the points taught by the human operator and applying them to the current physical layout, completely preparing the palletizer process for execution. Mm -hmm. Okay, clear. So I can see how flexible is this solution. But one thing that comes to my mind, can this solution be customized? Yes, there is a lot to do with our solution. First, I would highlight the capability to reconfigure the palletizer layout in a few moments, as I have mentioned before. Simply guiding the cobot with your own hands is enough, and then you can create a new picking position for the palletizing process. With a couple more taps on the screen, the cobot will do that by itself using the integrated camera. And the same is valid for uh, pallet positions, for example. We can start working on a single pallet and add a new pallet quickly if we need to increase production for a third or a fourth pallet. Another interesting feature would be the point options. Are we working with slip sheets? Usually those come in a stack where the topmost position is not constant during the application. Configuring the right option, the cobot will move until just the first element of the stack is detected, wherever that might be. So 
in that way, the code will be adapting to every new cycle uh, in the palletizing process where the object might be in a different space. Or for example, setting a permission signal between the cobot and the PLC, there is also an option for that. We can have this, this kind of communication uh, between the palletizing application and the PLC application. And what about the user interface? Can that be customized? Yes, of course, that, that is a very good question. So we are not just talking about the physical process of palletizing. To be useful, the application also needs to be easy and comfortable to use. With our solution, we are providing a user interface template, totally customizable to really tailor it to the end user's necessities. For example, the developer will be completely free to add new buttons for additional options or functionalities. He will be able also to integrate elements of the rest of the production process or even automate parts of the palette definition to avoid uh, putting that work on the, on the work himself, for example. Okay, so with such a flexible solution, what factors should be considered when implementing a successful palletizing system with cobots? Mm, well, uh, implementing a successful palletizing system with cobots uh, requires requires planning and consideration of several factors. No? If we want to, to assure the efficiency, the safety, and the... Uh, to, to be uh, to, to provide an efficient uh, solution. No? Uh, I think that the key factors is uh, first, you have to check the application suitability. So you have to check if your palletizing task is suitable for cobot automation. You have to consider the workspace layout, the, the product size, the, the weight of the product, the shape. You have to choose the right uh, cobot model like with the right payload capacity, with the right reach and the and right uh, speed. And also you have to select the, the appropriate gripper because in the end, this is very important topic to for handling your products. Yeah. One of the things that for me is uh, super important is the safety. Uh, many times customers develop the, the application and in the end, they take care of the of the safety. But for me, safety should be considered as the first step in the design phase. So if you have to implement, uh, uh, I don't know, collision sensors, emergency stops, etc., this has to be considered from the beginning. In Onron, we have the the risk assessment service that, for me, is a fundamental part for the success of a. Uh, Cobot palletizing implementation. Another important topic is the integration with other equipment. So we have to be sure that the, the cobot can integrate with the conveyor systems, with the warehouse management software, or uh, cameras, or whatever. And a very important topic also is the integration with mobile robots. In, in Onron, we have mobile robots that uh, we can uh, integrate very easily with our cobots thanks to the landmark functionality that the, we have uh, with the cobot. So it's very simple for us. And also a very important topic is the people. No? We have to provide training to, to the staff to operate, to program, and to maintain the cobot and the, and the application itself. We have to be sure that this team has the necessary skills and the tools to travel suit the common issues and perform maintenance, etc. And very important, the employee, the operator, we have to involve him in the implementation process. We have to address their concerns and communicate them uh, the benefits of cobot automation, such as improved safety and job enrichment rather than job displacement. So they have to see the robot like a friend and think that thanks to the robot, they are going to have more time to invest in more important tasks. And last but not least is the cost analysis. No? It's clear that the return of investment in palletizing uh, system uh, has to be studied. Uh, you have to consider not only the initial investment, as I said before, but also the ongoing operational cost and potential savings in labor, in time, in materials. And as I said also uh, before, you can count with on-run leasing services if necessary. So by Carefully considering these factors, you can increase the likelihood of a successful and efficient implementation of a cobot palletizing system. Yeah, and, and just to add a little something from my point of view, 
create a bit more technical maybe, there is a lot to consider when building your palletizing application. Anyone that has worked in this field before knows about this. So from selecting the right robot to fine tune the pick and place trajectories, palletizing is a science itself. You know what they say, measure twice, cut once. So when building your application, it is essential to plan your pallet carefully. The approach and the part of trajectories, the palletizing sequence and the geometry of the whole layout will have a very strong influence on your cycle time, just to uh, cite a few factors. And another especially important factor, like Fernando uh, mentioned briefly, will be the end of arm tooling. The gripping technology that we use in the application will be key to ensure a, a successful application. We have to select the correct gripper for the correct application. I like this concept, measure twice, cut once, <laughs> I know it. Okay, so uh, we have seen the improvements and the present of palletizing, but what is the future? Well, the future is promising. In the very short time, we can expect to see cobots with higher payloads uh, that will allow to, to handle heavier items and also taller uh, taller pa pallets. From Enron, for instance, we are releasing the TN25S with 25 kilograms payload and 1,902 millimeters reach. So we can also expect the integration with the warehouse automation. So here the, the cobots will play a very important role in fully automated warehouse system. They will work in tandem with uh, AGBs, with conveyor systems, and the most important, tandem with intelligent mobile robots. You know that in Onron we have uh, mobile robots, as I mentioned before, that we can manage uh, together or in tandem uh, with the collaborative robots. Also, I think that the, the integration with warehouse management system will be the next step. So, cobots will be integrated with the software and this will allow a real-time inventory tracking. We will optimize the palletizing roads and we will improve the coordination with other warehouses processes and we will be able to eliminate intermediate stocks and in the end we will uh, save space and, and save money and also uh, another topic is that uh, the the software no we we are receiving more and more requests to mix different products with different sizes and weights this is what we call mixed palletizing and uh, this is mainly coming from the co-packing sector, let's say, and uh, this is more and more uh, common. So in summary, in the short term, let's say, the future for palletizing with cobots holds significant potential for increased automation, efficiency, and flexibility in material handling and supply chain uh, processes. And uh, as technology continues to advance, cobots will play a very important and pivotal role in optimizing uh, palletizing operation across uh, all the industries. Thank you, Fernando. And what about you, Juan? What about you, Juan? I absolutely agree. As it happens in most processes within the factory, palletizing is moving towards a highly automated and intelligent future. We're already seeing it today with a, flex with a flexible manufacturing concept. Like Fernando said, mobile robots will be a huge player in this regard. Introducing them in the production plan to manage the product flow, to feed products to the palletizer, or to manage the food pallets when they are done, for example, they are really giving a ton, a ton of flexibility to the production process. And to conclude today's podcast, I want to give a big shout out to our awesome guests, Fernando and Juan, for being here and dropping some serious knowledge bombs of palletizing. We could not have asked for better insights. <laughs> Thanks for the invitation, Andrea. Thank you, Andrea, for inviting us. You're welcome. And to all of you, tech listeners, Omron's palletizing solution is like the cherry on top of your tech Sunday. So keep those ears turning and who knows what automation wonders await you. Thanks for turning in. <laughs>